Hello students today we are going to discuss the chronology of Indian history starting from ancient India up till modern India Indian history is a topic of interest to many including foreigners because of the cultures and civilizations existed in the subcontinent history of India can be studied under political cultural religious or economic heads chronologically indian history can be classified into three periods ancient india medieval india and modern india first let us look at the topic of ancient india starting from prehistoric time to ad 700 There were activities of proto-humans in the Indian subcontinent 20 lakh years ago and of Homo sapiens since 70000 BC but they were gatherers or hunters The first inhabitants of the Indian subcontinent might have been tribals like Nagas of northeast Santals of East India Bhils and Gonds of Central India Todas of South India and many more most of them are speakers of austric pre-dravidian languages such as munda and gondwi dravidians and aryans are believed to be immigrants who came later to the subcontinent ancient india can be studied under other heads like paleolithic mesolithic neolithic and chalcolithic periods based on the type of stone or metal tools people used let us look at the first topic of ancient india that is paleolithic period starting from 2 million bc to 10000 bc some important characteristics of this period were use of fire tools were made up of limestone and ostrich eggs were used now let us look at some paleolithic sites which are very important bimbeka hunski kurnul caves narmada valley and kalatki basin moving forward let us look at the next topic that is the mesolithic period starting from 10000 bc to 8000 BC There was a major climatic change that happened during this period This era also marked the beginning of domestication of animals and cattle rearing Microliths found at Brahmagiri, Narmada, Vindhya and Gujarat belong to this time period Moving on to Neolithic period it started at around 8000 BC till 4000 BC wheel was discovered the beginning of agriculture and also there was an early village named Inamgarh Some important Neolithic sites are Barzahum, Gufkral, Mehkar, Chirand, Daujali Hading, Koldewa, Mahagara, Hallur, Payyampalli, Maski, Kodekal, Sanganakale, Utnur and Takkalakota. Please note The two important megalithic sites are Brahmagiri and Adichanallur. In the era that started from 4000 BC to 1500 BC, we can see the Chalcolithic period. This period is also known as the Copper Age and it can be considered as a part of Bronze Age. Indus Valley civilization also belonged to this era starting from BC 2700 to BC 1900. Also, 
cultures present at Brahmagiri, Navadatoli, Maheshadal and Chirand belong to the Charcolithic period. The Iron Age BC 1500 to BC 200. The Vedic period marked the arrival of Aryans from BC 1600 to BC 600 that is nearly thousand years. Basic books of Hinduism that is the Vedas were composed and they might have been written down later. The birth of Jainism and Buddhism also belong to the Iron Age. Mahajanapadas, a major civilization after the Indus Valley, also thrived on the banks of the river Ganga. The very famous Magadha Empire was also a part of the Iron Age and the first ruler of Haryankakula was Bimbisara. The Sisunga dynasty also belonged to this age and its very famous ruler was Kalashoka. The very famous rulers of Nanda Empire were Mahapatma Nanda and Dhananda also belong to the very same age. The Persian Greek Emperor Alexander had also invaded India in 327 BC. After the Iron Age came Mauryan Empire and it started from 321 BC lasting up to 185 BC. Important rulers of the Mauryan Empire include Chandragupta Maurya, Bindusara and Ashoka. Moving on to the post-Mauryan kingdoms. Sunga, Kanva, Satvahanas, Indo-Greeks, Parthians, Sakas and Kushanas are the post-Mauryan kingdoms. The famous South Indian kingdoms Chola, Chera and Pandyas belong to BC 300. The Gupta kingdom 380 to 880. The important ruler of the Gupta period was Samudra Gupta and he was also known as the Indian Napoleon. The post Guptas, also known as the contemporary Guptas. Harshavartana, Vakatakas, Pallavas, Chalukyas, and also Hunas, Maitrakas, Rajputs, Senas, and Chauhans also belong to the post Guptan period. So that's all for today guys, we will see you with new amazing explainer videos that will make your learning simple, easy and super fast.